Welcome back to Undertale, everybody. Hopefully the sound will actually get recorded this time. That would be lovely. Oh boy, another shadow segment. What's this? Oh. This seems a bit excessive. This is really cool, though. Well, you can't say this isn't exciting. Ouch. Moving spears. These spears do not hurt me. They don't frighten me. Unfortunately, I've hit a dead end now. Hello! How you doing? Oh, and here I thought I was gonna fight this weird night lady. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh! You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Abby, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Well, isn't that nice. Piles of garbage. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Darn it! It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze dried space food bars. Take one? Yeah. You got the astronaut food. Astronaut food heals 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. Okay. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Sure. You sock the dummy. Who cares? Aw, oh, snap. Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you destroyed their home. Us ghosts spend our whole lives looking for a proper, proper vessel. Slowly, slowly, we grow closer to our new bodies until one day we too may become corporeal beings. Beings unable to, beings able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But you, my cousin's future, you took it all away. Despicable, despicable, despicable! Human, I hope you're not too attached to your body because your soul's about to get evicted. 
snap. Mad Dummy blocks the way. Mad Dummy, 30 attack defense. Yes, because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Feudal, feudal, feudal! Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! Mad Dummy's looking nervous. I'll talk to him. You talk to the dummy! It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one's happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Mad Dummy's bossing around its bullets. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! Yes! Mad Dummy's hopping mad! I'll stand in the window of a fancy store! This is a cool fight. Mad Dummy's bossing around its bullets. Ever then everything I want will be mine! Mad Dummy's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Take that. Mad Dummy's getting caught in all over the dialogue box. What was their name again? Mad Dummy's getting caught in all- yeah, okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Mad Dummy's getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Feudal, feudal, feudal. And I just realized this is Spider Dance. Hey, guys! Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Aw. Ha 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 ha! Now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words will fill the room. Dummy bots! Magic missile! Hehe. <laughs> Mad dummies bossing around? Yeah. Dummy bots, try again! Ow. Ow. Oh, that hurts. Ow! Mad Dummy's bossing around its bullets. I think I will eat my monster candy. Very unlicorice like You recovered 10 HP. Dummy Bots, final attack! Ow. Heh <laughs> No, no way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm... out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 <laughs> what? What the heck is this? Ugh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. <gasps> it's you! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. No, you saved me. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries.
Just thought I'd offer. I'm coming to your house, dude. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. I like the headphones he's wearing. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, why not? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Okay, then. This is interesting. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Of course. <laughs> this CD is labeled Ghoul Day Music. Play it? Yes. You play the CD. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ghost jingle bells. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it? Yes. You play the CD. Dane, that ambiance. It's like my whole body's being spooked. The CD's labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Sure. Oh, a classic Spook Tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. It's locked. So you see, it's the music's playing this far. <laughs> what the heck is that music? Uh, I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are weeks of fear! Forget it, this beat is too... filthy. Wash! Wait, don't leave me! Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Please, stop. I'll never creep again! Wah! Wow. It's a duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Yes. The duck is it's adorable. It's gonna drop me in the river. Or maybe not. Thank you, little duck. Hey, what's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Oh, is this backwards? Yeah, I think it's backwards. Oh. Yep, because there's Sands and his telescope. Do 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do I love this triumphant music. <sighs> Thank you once again, little duck. North Bluk Acres, East Hotland, question mark, Temi Village. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluk Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. This snail is counting dollar bills. I've been long overdue for a second house. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, so snail if Sam be Yule. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Thank you, Tyrell. Is this snail racing? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play, sure. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow. I should have known something was up. Race end! Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Screw you, man. I'm not paying any more money. I don't- I should have known snail racing would end in disaster. Use the box. What's in here? Just the stick. I'll put in the punch card. Okay, what does the bandage do? Bandage heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Ew. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale! Ugh. Let's see. A crab apple, CT, tour notebook. Minus free attack, but you're invincible longer. Cloudy glasses, invincible wa- What? No. Well there, I got some neat junk for sale. Be careful out there, kid. Ugh. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Several, seven of the, our their greatest magicians seal us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to several human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Well, that's no fun. I'm reminded of Alice in Wonderland here. It's special enemy Temmy! Okay, hey Temmy. Oh, I can spare her right now. Temmy, rated Tem out of Tem. Prepare, loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Hi, I'm Temmy! Don't pet me, please Temmy. Do not pet me, pet me, do not. Temmy vibrates intensely. How can I kill Temmy? She's so cute. And now we get the awesome music again.
I love this area. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. Who's this? You walk into Mold Small. <laughs> Mold Small is very normal. I'll flirt with Mold Small. You wiggle your hips suddenly. Go! Mold the big fills the mills about in the corner. Hug. You hug Mold Big. Gross slime covers you. Your speed decreases. Roar. Mold the Big gyrates reservedly. I'll lie down. Mold Big lies down too. Mold Big understands life now. Roar. Mold Big gyrates reservedly. Okay. For real? Unhug. You don't hug Mold Big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Whoa! Dun 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 dun. Mold Big seems comfortable with your presence. I'll spare you. And I get 20 gold. Oh boy. I desperately need a lantern. There we go. So that's what the lanterns do. Oh boy. Behind you. Hi! Uh, I don't want to die just yet. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our keen, keen Asgore dreamer will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh. I'm dying! I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Huh? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Thanks, dude. You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Oh, well, this is lucky. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it! You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, 
You're human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kinda stink at that. Haha. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Sure. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it, haha. <laughs> Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, w w wait! Help! I tripped! I'm helping you up, of course. Y y yo dude if if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. <sighs> Snap. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. haha. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Oh, boy. We're going to the big caverns now. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? For your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it's customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah! You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Alfie's history's books make me think humans were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal! You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense? Please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared. And all the pain you inflicted on the fallen, every hope, every dream you've turned to dust, she's gonna send right back through her spear. Yeah! I'll show you how many determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. I think I will save and quit first. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. If you tune in for the next episode, we'll be fighting this lady. Have a great day and God bless.